。马儿要去唱，如果喜欢我的影片，记得按赞、订阅、加分享。With the introduction of the first CX-60, Mazda entered a new era of history. An SUV built from the ground up to become the brand, the first modern mainstream rear-wheel drive model. Now on the assembly line, earlier this week, April 18, production of the CX-60 started at Mazda's second Hope plant in Yamaguchi Prefecture. The first vehicles for the European market left Japan on April 26 to commemorate the start of production. A special ceremony was held. About 100 people involved in the production process attended the ceremony. Mazda President and CEO Akira Morimoto is also at the factory. With factory employees, local suppliers, along with officials and others who joined online, Mazda said. The flagship CX-60 is its most important model in over a decade. CX-60 PHEV will see the company's first plug-in for hybrid technology introduced to the European SUV market. The Japanese brand also said, "CX-60 stands for everything the company has built into its DNA over the past five years." In many ways. The CX-60 is truly a new chapter for Mazda. This is the company's first production plug-in hybrid, equipped with a 2.5-liter inline-four-cylinder engine, 134hp, 100kW, and 184lbft, 250Nm electric motor. Total system output of the hybrid system, rated at 123hp, 241kW, and 369lbft, 500Nm. Mazda promises well PAT certified fuel consumption, only 1.5 liters per 100 kilometers. But this is apparently only at 17.8 kilowatt h. This is true when the battery is fully charged. Mass production of the European CX-60 began on March 16. The dealer has accepted the order. The first European CX-60 as will leave Chongqing port on April 26. Arrived in summer. The CX-2 Range One will be followed by the slightly larger CX-70. It will be sold in the U.S. with two rows of seats. A longer version based on the same architecture will follow. It can accommodate up to seven passengers. The product will enter the U.S. market two years later as the CX-70.